Chris 6 News at Noon continues. Welcome back. If you've spent much time on a computer or maybe even a smartphone, you've probably seen it. It's that warning message that something is wrong along with a number to call for tech support. Jason Meza is here from the Better Business Bureau and you say if that happens, I should probably tap the brakes. <laughs> Don't run for the hills quite yet, Mike. Just <laughs> slow take, down. Reel it back. Yeah, okay. It can be scary. It can be scary. You see a message pop up taken over the entire computer saying you have a virus or there's an alert or you need tech support immediately. So many folks will obviously try to ask the question or call the number that appears on that. Mm -hmm. Many times it is a scam. One out of two different ways this can go. It could be a legitimate malware, Trojan, a virus on your computer that's been installed. Right. Or it could just be a marketing message that pops up from a site that you visited recently. So either way, it's best to just stay and earn the side of caution for this. Well, let me ask you this. I mean, how, how widespread, how big is this? And is this something people living in South Texas even have to worry about? Yeah, top 10 scam, riskiest scam in last wow, year. So really? it's one of the top 10 for sure. Tech support's a big deal because again, there's only a few software makers or hardware, Microsoft, Apple, Dell. And once you get those folks calling you or knocking your door down saying you could have a problem, then it's it becomes major. Mm -hmm. uh, in Alice, out of our area, we did have a report just this last week that somebody lost over $1,000 mm. offering money to a tech support what they thought was tech support and it was a scam. So they don't get you for a little, they get you for a lot. Yeah. Okay, very quickly here, let's run through some things that you say we need to do to make sure we're not victims. Mm -hmm. First, Always maintain control of your computer. You don't want to give somebody remote, remote access to your hard drive or to your computer at all because, mm -hmm. again, a lot of bad things can happen if the wrong person gets in the hands. And you really don't want to offer the money that's given on that phone number. Instead, usually I tell people just to shut the computer down, do a hard reset, hold 10 yeah. seconds, let it power back up. And chances are things will be okay. Yeah. All right, uh, be wary of calls. You're talking about if somebody calls you out of the blue, right. says, I want to fix your computer. Exactly. <laughs> and you, you might think it might be, they, they're legitimate. They impersonate yeah. the big three uh, makers. And they'll support their scam by trying to follow up with a phone call too. They might have your phone number, so they'll try and support that online scam by just calling you as well. Okay. Take. Uh, Take the computer to somebody local, to a professional. Sure. And get it. If there is something wrong, let them tell me that, right? Exactly. Someone you trust. Uh, you know, make sure you go on bbb.org, find a person, find a shop that you can trust and well, and they might diagnose it for you and tell you, yes, you do have a virus or not. All right. And the last thing, switch those passwords often. This should be commonplace, Mike, for everybody yeah. just to do this regularly, six months to a year. Switch those passwords up. You just never know. It's just staying one one step ahead of a potential scam. Yeah. Don't, don't think, well, I'll never remember it. Yeah, you will. I mean, yes. it's better than to stick with the same password that's right. for ever and ever. That's All right, right. Thank you. That's good stuff. Yes, Appreciate sir. it, Jason. All of that's on our website, by the way, ChrisTV.com. Go there, take a look, and uh, see if it is not helpful to you. Well, up next here.